with the relationship between cell potential and the delta Rg reaction gives free energy change. Now let's look at our example of methanol fuel cell. I want us to calculate the standard cell potential for such a methanol fuel cell. Calculate standard cell potential or E0 for methanol complete oxidation, complete oxidation to form methanol combined with oxygen gas to form CO2 and water, complete oxidation. And in methanol fuel cell at 25 degrees C, we want you to calculate the E0, the standard electrode potential, using the relationship between electrode potential and the Gibbs free energy change, reaction Gibbs free energy change. As we said from earlier, we have calculated using the table from CRC handbook, the delta Rg reaction gives free energy change under standard condition to be minus four, 1,404 kilojoule per mole. That's what we calculated before. Okay, And then recall the relationship between Data Rg0, standard reaction gives free energy change, and E0, the standard electrode potential, is by this relationship. Okay? NF with a minus sign linked electrical work down to the external and surrounding the environment and the change in system. Um, free energy okay and from this equation of course the e0 equals minus gibbs free energy change on the standard state divided by nf f friday constant n the is the mole of electron transferred for one mole of reaction progression okay so for this reaction we said N is 12. For this reaction, as we write here, N is 12. You, you may ask, why is it 12? Well, if you look at uh, from oxidation reduction point of view, this oxygen, the initial valence state is zero. The valence state for oxygen in oxygen gas initially is zero. But when you look at uh, products, every oxygen atom, its valence after reaction is at uh, minus two. Okay, so you see oxygen get reduced. So how many oxygen get reduced? Remember, totally we have two plus six, eight oxygen on the left. Two times two, four plus four, eight oxygen on the right. Out of these total eight oxygen atoms, only six, three times two, six oxygen got reduced. So we say six oxygen, three times two, six oxygen, and in oxygen gas, they got reduced to form oxygen and in water or CO2, we don't distinguish them, but the valence state is minus two. So each from zero in oxygen gas to minus two valence. So six times two equals 12. 12 electron got transferred for this reaction. Or 12 mole of electron got transferred for one mole of this reaction progression. Remember, it's not one mole of methanol got oxidized or one mole of CO2 produced. It's one mole of reaction progression. Okay, so N is 12 here. And with this information, the E0 standard cell potential would be data G0, which is minus 1404. Kilojoule per mole, so we have to time 1000 joule per mole divided by N, which we said is 12, and F, 90 Faraday constant, 96,485 colon per mole. Okay, to calculate E0, mole and mole would cancel, 
Joule divided by Coulomb, if you remember from physics, that will give us the unit of volt. And minus, minus would cancel. We would have the standard cell potential to be 1.21 volt. Standard poten cell potential would be 1.21 volt. Of course, this should be under open circuit condition if we have such a maximal fuel cell. That gives us the standard cell potential, 1.21 volt. Means at 25 degrees C, the reaction between, I would say, pure methanol, one bar of oxygen, standard, because one bar of oxygen producing one bar CO2 at a pressure of one bar, and then pure, almost pure liquid water would have a cell potential, sometimes we also call it EMF, electric motive force of 1.21, of 1.21. Of course, I have to emphasize this 1.21 volt is theoretical or the voltage or potential under idealistic condition. I will explain a little bit more. Your practical mass of fuel cell would have a open circuit voltage much lower than this value due to some other complications such as crossover. But uh, for now, this value is a theoretical, theoretical under idealistic condition, perfect separation from reactant to products. Under idealistic condition, no leakage, perfect separation, then we should have a voltage or cell potential of 1.21 volt under idealistic condition. Later on, when we talk about fuel cell, we'll explain the actual open circuit voltage for such fuel cell would be much lower, quite often 0.9 volt. But under idealistic condition, perfect separation of reactants from products, um, no internal leakage, then theoretically it should be 1.21 volt. Okay, in case you are wondering, for such a full cell, fuel cell reaction, for this overall reaction, what would be the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction? Remember, cathodic or reduction half cell reaction is some species that got reduced. Here, the species got reduced would be oxygen gas, and I write it as here. This would be the cathodic or reduction half cell reaction. Oxygen gas three oxygen gas and we said they take need 12 electrons to go from zero valence to minus two valence so three oxygen gas 12 electron and oxygen in the final product would be water would be water so to balance it we have six oxygen we have therefore we need six water okay to have six oxygen and six water would have 12 hydrogen so to balance we have to write 12 proton on the left so now let's look at it in terms mass balance six oxygen on the left six oxygen on the right 12 hydrogen on the left two times six 12 hydrogen on the right so mass is balanced in terms of charge 12 minus 12 plus zero charge on the left zero charge on the right so for this so-called half cell cathodic or reduction half cell it's balanced of course doc you may say doc chen this is 3 12 12 6 we can um, simplify the stoichiometric a coefficient yes you can do that and uh, the reaction would be oxygen plus four electron plus four proton aqueous solution to form two uh, water molecule in liquid state this would be the simplified cathodic or reduction half cell reaction it's oxygen gas combined with electron and proton to form water in this process oxygen got reduced its valence changed from zero to minus two for ancient water on the other hand the anodic or oxidation half cell reaction would be as i write methanol combined with liquid water to form co2 and uh, proton 
at the same time release 12 electrons. Let's just examine this half cell reaction. Check for mass balance. How many carbon on the left? 2 times 3, 6 carbon on the left. Sorry, 2 carbon on the left, 2 carbon on the right. How many hydrogen on the left? 3 plus 1, 4 times 2, 8. 8 plus another 4, 12 hydrogen on the left, 12 hydrogen on the right. How many oxygen? 2 plus another 2, 4, on the, 4 oxygen on the left, 2 times 2, 4 oxygen on the right. So each of the carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen are balanced. We have mass balance. What about charge? Zero charge on the left, 12 proton, 12 plus, 12 minus, zero charge on the right. So both the mass and charge are balanced for the anodic or for the oxygen half cell, which is for methanol to give out electron, com methanol combined with water to give out the electron and form carbon dioxide and a proton. Of course, the proton would be in aqueous state. So then, of course, if you add the cathodic and the anodic, cathodic and anodic, with the goal of eliminating electron on the left plus left, right plus right. Of course, the 12 proton also got cancelled out. We would end up with the overall or full cell reaction for this methanol fuel cell or MFC. Okay. So in this case, we demonstrated how to calculate standard cell potential using starting from a standard Gibbs formation energy to get reaction Gibbs free energy change on the standard state. And with this equation, we get the standard cell potential. And of course, again, I want to say it's under idealistic condition for such an MFC fuel cell. The real value, even under open circuit condition, would be much lower. And we'll talk about this in greater detail later.